Welcome back to Stellaris. We are at, uh, I don't know what to describe it, uh, the epitome of our research currently with both Psi Shields and Psi Jump Drives and, uh, well, we also have the, uh, the Dreadnought in our fleet. Uh, things are looking uh, very, very good for uh, the uh, Star Cult of the Tentacle. So let's just move on. Ship uh, there upgrades applied. Is of course a lot of Ship stuff to uh, attend to micromanage-wise, but uh, as I mentioned in a in one of the previous episodes, I enjoy that uh, part of the uh, game very much. Our primary problem at the moment, if you can describe it as a problem is the lack of alloys to build more battleships and of course also uh, we could do with more whoa influence huh living metal mega construction i want that uh crystalline sensors that's not really necessary education campaign that one i want Exotic gases as fuel, we don't need that. Shield boost, no. Volatile ammunition, no. Volatile explosive, no. Focusing crystals, no. But let's look at the other redicts. Pop consumer goods upkeep. Minus 10%. That is actually quite substantial. That is 51. For a few credits. Let's do that. I would do the information quarantine, but I don't want to spend that much influence. The clear blockers could be good. Yeah, we'll take that. What is this? Ten percent more society research. I think we're good on that, to be honest. Some of these are so good. Rather, all of them are, but... I think we need to buy some more gas off the market. Can sell some consumer goods. Buy some completed. alloys. Hyosun can use the hegemon Cassus belly against us. Is that assembly of Hyosun? You're the new leader. So that federation is now a hegemony. That is very weird. Hegemon subordinate. Okay. Interesting. They have that as a uh, their origin. So these guys started as a hegemony. Who were there? Okay, so this little tiny thing here, and this huge area here, were the uh, subject of the Nephoid Cooperative. But I think the assembly of Yosun actually is stronger than the Nephoid Cooperative themselves. Not that I'm entirely sure where I can see that. Can I see the score anywhere? I don't remember. Should have a look at this as well. Our diplomatic stance is mercantile. And I think we'll leave it at that. 
Our war philosophy is unrestricted, that is fine. War doctrine is rapid deployment, which is excellent. Orbital bombardment on indiscriminate, yes. We have no restrictions on our native interference. We have prohibited native enlightenment. Resettlement is allowed, as it should be. Land appropriation is prohibited. We don't need that either. This one, I think, will put to capacity boosters. Uh, peaceful, yes. Initial border open. We are still under nutritional plentitude. Or plenitude. I think that's a spelling error. We have a mixed economy. This sh should be on militarized economy. But I'm a bit worried. Minus 25%. That's that's quite a bit. Six hundred and forty-four minus twenty-five percent puts us at four hundred and eighty-three. So we would go in minus. So no, we can't change that. We are in the marketplace of ideas, which I think I want us to remain on for now. We don't want any robotic workers. Pre-sapients protected. Yeah, because then we can uplift them so we get more slaves. Refugees, citizen species only. We could welcome them, but uh, <laughs> they would become slaves. Population controls needs to be allowed. Slavery, of course, is allowed. Purge, displacement only, fine. Okay, now this world... We really don't need to... Uh, Research concluded. ...bother with uh, food as of yet. I think we'll make this an administrative world as well. We can now create a resort world. With careful study devoted to landscaping, climate control, and the science of fun, construction of entire worlds dedicated to leisure can be made possible. Not that I intend to do that, but... Ah, oh, fine. Let's get the Tomb World adaptation. Just to get rid of it. We are being hailed. You want a migration treaty? Um, no. Is the, the key port to the embassy. Advanced strikecraft, a further refinement in strikecraft design. These advanced strikecraft are a pilot's dream. Their performance far exceeds that of previous models. Okay, there we go. Juggernaut. Another bureaucratic office, I think. We might want to have a slave processing facility, or maybe even a psych or we need both of them actually. Okay, let's get Psycho first.
these use crystals, which we have plenty of. So let's upgrade a couple of these and then build two city districts. We have plenty of alloys at the moment, so we should... Uh Yeah, this one can be upgraded to a citadel. You're still working. You're done. Any of these things we need? Resource silos. Hyperlane registrar. Terraforming complete, but I'm not going to do anything with that yet. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Good. Tomb world adaptation. Not that we need that since I terraformed the tomb walls, but... Through comprehensive study of irradiated environments, we will allow our settlers to colonize worlds that have been devastated by nuclear warfare. Let's get the arcane deciphering. have another building slot available here. Let's get some exotic gas refineries then. Yeah, we have to extend the deal with the curators, of course. Let's pause real quick there. Four available jobs. Yep. I think we should change this into a refinery world now. But I'm not sure why. Minus 10% refiner upkeep. Do they cost that much in upkeep? Not really. No, I don't think so. We'll keep it as a mining world. This planet... Uh, we have Psycore. We have slave processing facilities, so... Gas refineries it is. going through the uh, star bases. Yeah, here we have one that I haven't done anything with. Only Lana leveled up. Um, Hyperlane Registrar and then continue with Solar Arrays. And upgrade it. This one, I think it's going to be the same thing. Yep. And this one should be set to upgrade, and so should you. We have room for another star base now. Do all of our colony systems have a star base? I think they do. Which means that we can upgrade this one. And we don't want this to be named Dareos. Um, Abdopus. So this is the Shrine of Abdopus. And then we want to colonize this one, and here we will actually use Shrine of Abdipus Prime. Since there's another planet we can colonize in here as well.
Research concluded. And they've declared them their rival again. Reverse engineer minor artifacts. I don't think we're going to do that, but... Various artifacts and technologies functioning by arcane means that cannot be understood or replicated. At least not by conventional science, as it is known to us. Those are rather nice. Let's get the Morphogenetic Field Mastery next. A few of them inside of our armies should make our armies even more formidable. War has been declared. What? Assembly of Yossen declared war on Olakrafan sovereignty. Meh. Okay, let's take our envoy out of the Olakrafan society and put it back into here. Which should put us up to 26,000. Good. We are being hailed. Migration Treaty, Concordate of Cumulod. Is that that little tiny thing up there? Yes, it is. You know, I don't think so. Go away. Tivek is now level 6. Very good. We are being hailed. No, I still don't want a migration treaty with you guys. Sorry. Okay, let's get the standard construction templates next. I don't think we have any unemployment issues currently. We're almost done with the unity tree. We need more bureaucrats, but we've gotten it down a little bit. We can contact the shroud. Something dark is coming. This is a particularly temp tempestuous region of the shroud. Massive currents of raw psionic energy is funneled through here sometimes giving violent birth to semi-intelligent spiritual apparitions. These confused spirits often clash with one another, unleashing massive amounts of psychic power in battles that can last millennia. In fact, several such duels seem to be taking place right now. We should proceed with caution. We can either summon a psionic avatar, or we can try to get increased ship speed or shield strength. We'll, we'll summon a psionic avatar. The powerful energies of the Shroud have been successfully channeled into a psionic avatar under our control. After translating into our universe, the newborn avatar has coalesced into a colossal warrior on the surface of Cathedral of the Kraken. Um, 261. Yes, I, I think so. Construction completed. That is a rather powerful little thing. Sisyphus is done. Let's upgrade it. And the Shrine of Spirula can build something. So let's build another civilian industries here. We also need a couple of city districts on this planet now. And we need to upgrade the capital. System survey concluded. Good. We should also go buy some more alloys off the market. Construction completed. Let's just wait with building things here. 
We can't build the black site until the planet has been colonized, so... The black site is what we want first. Pedro has become corrupt. So, you all know what that means. There is an... I'm not happy with these guys. There are too many of them end up corrupt. Dismiss. Stick. Here we want to build an executive retreat. Research concluded. Healthcare campaign edict. We need to enact that again and declare saint. Mm, it's 180 influence. Yeah, we'll do that. Morphogenic field mastery is done. That unlocks the xenomorph armies. From its cradle as a purely pharmaceutical venture, advancements in our understanding of the morphogenetic field allow for direct subconscious interfaces with organic units. Uh, let's get the galactic markets next. And then let's recruit... Some xenomorph armies. Five here. Five here. And five here. So we have five of each of them in our current armies. Building a better tomorrow has been passed. So we're now at 27.1k influence. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Good. Dyson Sphere. A Dyson Sphere fully envelops a given star, converting all solar output directly to energy credits. Okay. I think... We'll take shield harmonics first. I'm also wondering if I should... Personally... Suggest the... Um, that one is proposed, that one is proposed. Denouncement is not proposed. Where is it? That one would be... I mean, these would be amazing, but weak support. I'm going to uh, suggest this one. And the Senate is in recess. But I'm going to declare it an emergency measure.
Excellent. You guys should be against that. This planet has an available building slot and I'm guessing we want the slave processing facilities. Here we want gene clinics. So much scrolling. Construction completed. Good. Anything we want to build here at all? No. How about there? I think we have everything we want. Yep. So... If we go buy some more alloys off the market, we can go into here and we can build the next part of that. Those resource silos really have helped in terms of how much we can... Uh contain in our storages. This world, hmm. I'm guessing we have plenty of slaves on this world, so the first thing we want here is slave processing facility, then we want to upgrade these two. And the question then is, So many districts available. Let's fill it up with agricultural districts. And I guess my districts as well. We have plenty of population on this world. And we're about to colonize the shrine of Abdipus Prime. Research concluded. Galactic Stock Exchange. By engaging in free trade of goods and services, we allow for a more specialized economy where an individual can excel in a narrow field and trade for their needs. Planet Limit 1. I'm not sure exactly how that thing works. But we'll see. Um... Let's get the uh, Galactic Campaigns next. We've had that for ages now. That upgrades to commercial complexes or megaplexes. But this Galactic Stock Exchange thing. Yeah, we want to build that. Um, but I think we want to replace one of our buildings. Um, let's replace the civilian fabricators. Is there anything else we want to replace? Yeah, Citadel of Faith. How about this one? Nope, we're good. 
this planet, another alloy foundry, and also a city district. Construction completed. Um, I'm not sure if I want to upgrade that right away. I probably don't. This one should be upgraded though. This one is done. Okay. Why haven't I noticed that? Station foundries and solar arrays. Great to Star Fortress. And now we want to be able to buy more. Um, Alloys. At a premium price, I should add. Good. Colony establishment has begun. You don't want a migration treaty with us. Can we build a black site now? Yes. So silos. Uh, it's this. Oh, it is excellent. Excellent. Reprocessing array. Boundaries. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Mining base. And upgrade. Juggernaut. Colossal assembly yards. A mobile space base of unparalleled proportions, the Juggernaut ship class takes offensive warfare to a whole new level. Let's get the uh, Giga Cannon and let's have a look at that. Oh my, oh dear. <laughs> that, that's big. That's very big. Uh, let's just go with two focused arc emitters here. Eight units, eight units, six to seventeen, twenty to thirty, seventy accuracy, a hundred to hundred, fifty tracking, range ten, range ten, hull fifty, hull fifty, or hull forty five, no shields, poor evasion, poor speed. I'm not sure why you would want to use the amo amoeba flagella. This the advanced aircraft is better, I mean. Um range fifty. But it's the only thing that makes sense to put on this ship together with the uh, arc emitters. That's range 80, so it doesn't make sense after all. Anything has range 80? No. No, I don't think so. That one, however... That one is extremely nice. I think I'll go with that one. And this is just absurd. Advanced reactor boosters. You can't afford more than uh, one of them. 
I guess we'll have a leathera of <laughs> armor on this thing. A hundred thousand hull points. Ah, oh, this is just completely and utterly ridiculous. 7,200 shields. Now we'll get the auxiliary fire controls here. The sign name. Huh. No, but this just has to be Cthulhu. Cthulhu class juggernaut. Save. And delete this one. Um, and then we need the, uh, I don't think we can build it here. We can. Colossal assembly yards. Ah, let's build that then. It's going to be slightly insane. Just slightly, mind you. Okay, so these should merge. This one should fly up there, and this one should fly there. I haven't completed them yet, though. So these should merge. That's the final one. Merge. Construction completed. Merge. Okay, so here we just move on with more mining bays. I don't think there's anything else we want. Nope. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Betabyte leveled up to level 6, and we have completed the research of galactic campaigns. 10% less claim influence cost and 10% less war exhaustion. Further improvements to administration grant an extended power projection across the stars and the military clout needed to enforce our demands. Then we want the Doctrine Interstellar Warfare next. Treaty. I must say the the game is surprisingly snappy still. That used to be a problem. Construction it's slowed completed. Down. Construction completed. Here we just see if there's anything we need here first. Nope, so just fill it up with more solar arrays. This one is identical, so same here.
Knowledge is the key to the universe. Completed the research of uh, Doctrine Interstellar Warfare, plus 20 fleet command limit. That's not bad. A gradual adaptation to the realities of deep space combat allows us to effectively coordinate larger maneuvers. That one is expensive. Um, I think we'll get the Doctrine Fluid Fleet templates next. And Stick has leveled up. Going to have plenty of uh, food when these places level up. This planet has been terraformed. But I don't want to colonize it until I can build a star base there. That planet has been terraformed as well. Size 10 and a crappy modifier. Research concluded. Kika Cannon. An even more powerful mass accelerator cannon that could rip through even the toughest shields. Okay, let's get the Elgate Insight. How many Elgate Insights do we have? Two out of seven. I wonder if we can convince these guys into giving us a system. Probably not. Edition available. Let's get the interstellar franchising. City districts provide one additional clerk job. We have one more left and then we have all of them. Shrine of Veladona. I'm not sure what I want this planet to do. Um, probably I want this to be um, an administrative planet. Yes. That's what we want. Shrine of Adeliadoni. I'm guessing we need slave processing facilities here. And upgrade these two buildings. We have plenty of housings. Let's get the two mining districts that we can build. And now I'm going to do something rather boring, but we are nearing the end of the episode, but I want to make sure that I don't uh, do a mistake on my planets. So what I will do now is I will pause the recording momentarily and I will be right back. Okay, so what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do this while the recording is paused, but I will explain it beforehand. I will now designate each planet so that I can remember what its purpose is by doing, for instance, this. This is a science word, world, so in uh, these uh, brackets, SCI for science. And I will be back when I've done that to each and every planet. There we go. So what I've done now is I have, with the exception of this, the Cathedral of the Kraken, I've removed the in all of the names and I've made various designations to the, uh, to the planets. So SC is for science, um, energy, 
minerals and uh, refineries em -re. this is now the temple of squid the church of octopus is farms and refineries shrine of akorokamui is a bureaucratic center for sure and i'm not going to uh, well i guess i should add uh, an f here as well because it's a food planet church of megalodone is mining energy and refineries there is plenty of districts left here. The Temple of Belemnoidea is mines, energy, and refineries. Church of Sepia is food, energy, and alloys. Temple of Sepiotheosis is energy, minerals, and consumer goods. Temple of Sisypus, energy, minerals and refineries the right transept of the kraken is now the r transept of the kraken science and food the same with the left transept science and food temple of nautilus is mining and refineries i'm not bothering adding in the generators here because i'm not adding an energy grid the mosque of cuttlefish energy and bureaucratic centers Shrine of Veladona. This is bureaucrats, but I probably should add food as well. Uh, Temple of Tremoctopus. Energy, mines, and consumer goods. Temple of Wunderpus. Energy, mines, and alloys. And finally, Shrine of Adeliadona is mines and alloys so now i can quickly see what each planet is going to be doing so that i don't mix things up and start building something that i don't want on a specific planet and with that thank you all so very much for joining me and i will see you all in the next episode